Moving to a new neighborhood can be exciting and nerve wracking all at the same time. Join me as I take you through my personal experience moving to McDonald Highlands. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section throughout this video if you can relate to anything I went through. Brief background. When my husband and I first moved to Las Vegas, we didn't expect to stay here too long. We kind of figured it would be a stopping point for us. We really let our dog pick our house. I'm not kidding. Our real estate agent took us all over the valley and my dog, Bugsy, picked that house. We remodeled a little bit. We put it for sale eventually because we decided we wanted to call Las Vegas home forever. Well, we'll see forever, but for a long time. We decided we wanted to invest in our forever home. Like I said, it was a stopping point before. It was a home that was comfortable to us and it was a great area. And it made sense for where we were at in our lives. At this next chapter, we wanted to go big. We wanted to have the dream. We wanted to curate and create our dream home. So my husband went all over the place looking for what that could be. Like many of you relocating here, I'm sure you go on Zillow and you see different homes and different neighborhoods. You don't really know much about the communities. But because we lived here in Las Vegas, it made it really easy for us to explore different communities, see what they offered in different price points, depending on you know, what we decided our budget was, what that got us. He kind of went around and previewed different homes and different neighborhoods. And then he brought me in and then we really got digging. The number one thing we wanted was a home that we could curate ourselves. So a custom home or a home that you know maybe needed our thumbprint. And then we wanted a strip view. And if you've ever watched any of my videos, I talk a lot about finding a strip view. The strip view is like our ocean and finding a home that has a remarkable strip view is quite difficult on the Summerlin or the Southern Highlands part of town. But here in McDonald Highlands, it's plenty. If you want a strip view, you can do a community like Askaya, McDonald Highlands, Seven Hills has some strip views, Roma Hills has some strip views, Anthem Country Club. There are a lot of opportunities here in Henderson to have that remarkable strip view. So when we decided that that was the step we were going to take, we wanted that strip view, we wanted to build, and this community, McDonald Highlands, had a lot of opportunity for that, so that's why we picked this one. First impressions. So I mentioned my husband kind of did the due diligence. He went around and poked around and checked things out. And then I joined him and we made that next step in that commitment to buying a home here. So when we first went through the gates, I was just blown away. I feel like the entrance of a community really sets the bar. If a community doesn't have that gorgeous entryway, you just kind of feel like you're driving through another community. But here, when you open those gates, it just feels like really special. It has a really tranquil feel. And I love that they had a country club where I could start flexing my golf skills. We golfed a lot in Cabo and I'd always been interested in it, but not really having a golf community close by, I didn't really join. We played a little bit in Red Rock. My husband loves Red Rock, but I just really loved having that community aspect. The most notable feature for us was the strip view. I remember coming up to the lot and seeing just the strip view and even what it is now. We have the MSG Sphere and we have Resorts World. We didn't have all that when we purchased this home. So just seeing it light up just felt really inspirational and magical and it really took my breath away the first time I saw it. Home hunting and purchase process. When it comes to building your dream home, you go through a lot of different things. You gotta find the lot that you wanna be on. You gotta find the design that you wanna do. You gotta find the architect and the builder. It's a lot that goes into it. So we did all of that due diligence, going around picking different things, and we came across a unique opportunity and we jumped on it. I think the biggest process for me was moving from section 10 to Henderson. I had spent majority of our first few years in section 10 curating friendships, finding that local restaurant I loved, knowing where to go for dry cleaning and hair and all the things that you need in your daily life. So coming to the other side of town, I was a little hesitant because I'd have to start over. I'd have to find my dry cleaner again. I'd have to find, you know, where I donate blood or get, you know do my blood work. I'd have to find my dry cleaner again. Just all the things that you really need to have convenient to you. I had to refine all those things. So at first I was a little like, oh, I'm not by my friends. You know, I feel like I'm clear across town. But eventually I settled in and I started making friends in Henderson. So that was really nice. 
and I found it to be not that bad of a drive to go to Summerlin. I've gotten spoiled as I've lived here. <laughs> I feel like it's a drive when it's not um, because of that 215 freeway and you're super close to the 215 being in this community. So it makes it really easy. You know, the strip is, it's right there. The airport's right there. We travel all the time, so it's really convenient. But for us, I just really felt like that was kind of something I had to overcome. And I really connect with my clients who are relocating here because I know exactly how it feels. I came here from Thailand and you know, it was a big change for me. And I almost had to relocate again when I moved to this side of town. I still have some things over on that side of town just because I didn't want to change my primary care doctor. But overall, I've moved all my things over here, my hair girls over here, my facial girls over here, everything that I need in my daily life to survive. <laughs> survive I have on this side of town now another thing I had to overcome was construction construction is not so fun and that is definitely something in this little cove in McDonald Highlands we had to know that we were going to deal with so we were one of the very few homes that were completed and finished and ready to move in while they were still building around us because it's all new in this area and dealing with construction I knew that was going to be something we'd have to overcome and it took me a while it can be very irritating but you know the thing about construction is you know it, it's not going to be never ending it will end at one point and it's nice to have a beautiful new home next door and above us and surrounding so as much as the construction was something i had to get over it was something that overall i'm pretty happy with so i want to know what's the number one feature you look for in a new home settling in so when we moved the big thing i wanted to do was get all new furniture i feel like when you move into a different style of home which the home i live in now is very modern very clean walls you know the grays we have lots of whites it's very just clean and modern which is what we wanted and then we use art to kind of flare it up but i wanted all new furniture so we got to go furniture shopping which was really fun and we curated a design that kind of fit in with the home to create more warmth in such a modern home I also got to go art shopping, which I love to do. So we've been curating art through the years. I always tell my clients this, you don't have to get everything all at once. You can take your time, get the necessities, get your bed and you know your couch and your dining room table and the things that you need, but the rest you can move in, settle in and start deciding what's important to you. you know, go around and check out different art pieces. You don't have to buy one today. You can find that art piece that really speaks to you that'll be large enough to cover that big wall space. That's something I always share with my clients. The first few days were pretty easy. We had purchased our items from Restoration Hardware and they use a company in town called Red Carpet Movers. They do white glove service. They bring the truck, they deliver everything and they set it up. They had steamers, they had pillow fluffers, the whole nine yards. They set the house up to perfection. It was so perfect. I was nervous to sit on my couch. So that was such a treat to have everything white glove delivered. Red Carpet Movers is one of the top companies here in Las Vegas. I recommend them to all my clients. They really do a nice job of packing up your belongings, unpacking your belongings if you want them to. They really have a niche for handling art and fine furniture and making sure that they respect the space as they're unpacking things. So that's definitely a company I recommend if you're looking to move here. So another thing that I had to deal with is our address was not found on Google Maps. So having an Instacart or a delivery service deliver anything was a nightmare. If you've ever moved into a new home, you know what I'm talking about. We had to just deal with that. People calling, I don't know where the house is, where's the house, da da da. So I actually had in my notes a direction, step-by-step -step guide that I would just copy and then paste to Instacart because it just got out of hand. I was on the phone explaining, driving down the hill, trying to find them, it was a nightmare. But eventually now our home is on the map, so I don't have to deal with that anymore. Getting familiar with the area was a breeze. I already had some friends who lived here, so I just reached out to them and they gave me some pointers. That is something that I feel I do as a real estate agent. If I have clients that are moving here from another city or another town, I always share my favorite places to at least get them started so that they can start exploring, but at least they have a restaurant to go to, the top sushi place in Henderson, Butcher Block, which has fresh cut meats and sushi grade fish, just these little spots you wouldn't know about just searching on Google. Local amenities and facilities. 
I mentioned the Dragon Ridge Country Club. Once we got settled in, I wasn't golfing right away because you have to move in and moving in anywhere is always a process. Although we had a really nice furniture experience, you still have to unpack your personal belongings, which takes forever. And that was a process in itself. Once I got settled in, I started golfing. I started taking golf lessons and it was so nice to meet the other ladies in the community and have that connection. We also started going to the gym, which is just down the hill. The gym is pretty nice. You know, for us, we have a higher standard for a gym just because we like to bodybuild. But if you're someone who just likes to go to the gym, you're a regular gym goer, you'd be quite happy in this gym space. Community and neighbors. Throughout McDonald Highlands, there's parks and they also do a lot of community events. They have something called Bark Happy Hour where people bring their dogs, they have mimosas, they have different beers sometimes and wines, and you can connect with the neighbors who have dogs. There's also a lot of people walking. I walk my neighborhood all the time. I love the hills, they're such a challenge. I love getting out in the fresh air and I love that this community is beautifully desert landscaped. It's really nice to walk around. And another feature I love is I love seeing the gorgeous homes, a lot of custom homes throughout this community. So it's fun to see the different architecture styles. It's fun to see how people have landscaped the front of their home. It's just kind of something to look at as you're walking around and getting your exercise. If we haven't met yet, my name is Courtney Bentley and I'm a luxury real estate agent here in Las Vegas. I offer a concierge service to take the headache out of moving to my favorite city. Now let's move on. Lifestyle changes and adjustment. Lifestyle change, walking around the neighborhood, walking the hills. My old neighborhood was super flat, so I have really enjoyed inviting my friends over to walk the hills. I love to walk and talk, so um, having my friends come and experience these crazy hills is really fun. Big adjustments I had to make was dealing with the construction, dealing with that noise. I'm very sensitive to noise when I'm working and my office is right next door to where a ton of construction was happening. Also leaving the community was kind of an adjustment because there's always construction going on. So you might get stuck behind a big bulldozer and I had to learn to be patient with that. So that was a huge lifestyle change for me. I also had to learn that, you know, my car is not gonna always be perfectly clean. It's very dusty. And another big thing I would say is just leaving enough time to get down the hill. I had to learn that if it says 30 minutes on my GPS, I should probably leave like 35 minutes in case there's a construction vehicle in front of me slowing me down. Challenges faced. There weren't too many challenges faced for me. Um, you know, just getting used to where all of the local amenities are that I use on a daily basis, curating more friendships out on this side of town finding those unique parks, finding those unique facilities that are special to Henderson. And just doing all of that was something I just had to grow into. When you buy a new construction home, there's a lot that goes into it. There's a lot of blue tape. There's a lot of things that have to be addressed and fixed. And that's just part of it. I feel like any new construction home, it's, it's a process. You move in, you start using the showers and the bathrooms and living in the home. There's settling that happens and there's just things that the builders and um, subs have to come back and fix. It can be kind of a pain. You kind of have to adjust your schedule. And a lot of times with new homes, you know, they don't come with blinds. They don't come with a yard. In our case, everything was finished. But in a lot of other people's cases, you know, you're gonna have to have someone come in and install the blinds. You're gonna have to have someone come in and install the alarm or the uh, soft water system. It's just all these things that you have to do when moving into a new home. I think in the future, I don't know if I would build a home again. I feel like I would prefer to move into something that's already built and kind of put my fingerprint on it as time goes on. And that's kind of what we did in section 10. And while it was a process, you have all these workers in and out of your house. Um, it, it was really fun and we really enjoyed it. What's the biggest challenge you faced in a move? Comment below and let us know. Overall satisfaction and future plans. I love my strip view. We throw a lot of parties. I throw 4th of July party. I often throw New Year's Eve, it depends, but I often will. And we just love having our friends over for dinner. And I feel like because we have that strip view, it's like our ocean. I love having people over to experience that with us and share it with them. And it really blows my mind to see people's reaction to this view because it really is magnificent. So that is something that's really special about this community. 
plans for the future. I just feel like I found my groove here. So I don't really have any future plans, but right now I think possibly I'm gonna update my office to make it more of a film type space since I've been filming a lot of content. So that's probably something I'm gonna do in the future. Maybe I'll do like a, um, a feature wall, maybe some rugs in here for the sound. There's some things I, I definitely feel like we're gonna update in this house as time goes on. It just really depends on the time, really taking the time to plan it out and curate the design and then execute. So. I feel like that's a piece that since I've been so busy with work, I haven't gotten to, but I do plan to do in the future. Tips and advice. If you're thinking about making the move to McDonald Highlands, here's some tips. Some of the homes where they are on the mountain and how they're up um, on the elevations, they get a lot of wind. That is something a lot of people don't expect. So if you are looking to move to a community that's based on a hillside like McDonald Highlands, you definitely want to come during the windy season to hear how the wind is flowing through the home and see how it you know, reacts to the outdoor furniture and things like that. That's definitely something you're going to want to consider. Another consideration, if you don't like construction at all, you may want to be in an area within this community, which is a huge community, that doesn't have a lot of construction going on. And there's tons of little nooks and crannies throughout this community where there are zero construction, aside from maybe someone updating their home. Things I wish I knew before moving, I wish I knew how much the construction would affect me. I feel like I've touched a lot on that. And if you want to learn more about what it's like to live here, I did a vlog style video. You can definitely check out that video. I really show you what it's like to live in this community, which I think is a great way if you want to get a little taste of going behind the gates and driving around. But for me, I feel like the construction was something I didn't really think would bother me and it ended up really bothering me. <laughs> I did get used to it. It's part of living in a newer part of this community. You know, overall, it was kind of a pain. But the good news is this community has so much growth. I feel like when we purchased our home, I had no idea how much values would increase in this community. They just announced the new Four Seasons project. I have a video on that coming up soon if you guys are interested in that new high rise in Henderson. and that brought up property values like crazy. The Blue Heron community, Dragon Rock within this community has also brought property values and soared them. So I'm really happy we bought our house when we bought it because it was a good time to buy. There weren't many people buying homes in here. So I feel like looking back, we didn't get a great deal, like looking back, but if you follow the future, like where we are now, we're really happy we purchased when we did. For more videos about Henderson and relocation tips, check out the videos above. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.